bringing news from NAB to the people. HDSLR Shooter, brought to you by Akidio, Adamus, Black Magic Design, ICANN, JVC, SERP, Video Blocks, Carl Zeiss, and Xylite. Hi, Clint with HDSLR Shooter, and uh, we are here at NAB 2015 with Ben Ryan of SERP. And I have to tell you, Ben, SERP is probably the product I've been the most excited about, you know, from 2014, you know, carrying on into into this year. Talk a little bit about the uh, the company. You guys got started very grassroots, and uh, talk a little bit about that. Sure, yeah. Um, yeah, thanks. So the, the company started in 2012, so we're pretty young, pretty new. Um, we did a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, we launched our first product, the Genie, and um, it was a great success. It was a simple product. It was easy to use. Uh, I think people could really relate to it um, in terms of uh, what was out there already for motion control. And uh, we've just grown from there. We've, this is our third in AB now um, with the booth. So we've got a more refined product line. We've introduced some, some new toys. And um, yeah, we're just growing. When you uh, were developing this initially, was it because you guys were passionate about time lapse and needed, wanted to see something that just wasn't on the market? Yeah, definitely. Like That's where it all came from. It was uh, We're filmmakers ourselves, our whole team now even are filmmakers. Um, so um, we were going out and shooting, we're doing motion control, but it, it was difficult. It was hard to set up, it was complicated menus, uh, there's a lot of external controllers. Um, so it was, it was a need. So um, that's where it all came from. We developed the product and because we wanted it. Um, it wasn't really a, as much of a business venture to begin with, and then it's just kind of turned into, into this. So um, it's been an awesome experience and, a, and an awesome journey. Well, so uh, the Genie was the first product. Of course, we're going to talk about a brand new product that you have here, a couple actually. But, and the Genie has uh, been out for a while, but for folks that aren't familiar with it, let's talk a little bit about the Genie. Uh, it's, it, I use it myself and it's, it's an amazing tool, no nonsense, works every time. But tell us how it works. Cool. So yeah, this is the Genie. So uh, it's a motion controller. Um, there's no external batteries, no external controllers. Um, it's just this one simple box. It can attach to a variety of film equipment and basically add motion control. So um, the way that works is through different plates. So you can either have a panning plate, um, which it just clicks in. And then it's either connected with a cable for time-lapse photography or it's um, just programmed to move and shoot um, like rotational panning motion, either smooth motion like it's doing now or for time-lapse. Um, so that, that's the panning functions. Uh, there's also another plate, which is the linear plate, um, and that, that works on a variety of different sliders. So um, the Genie will attach to any slider. So uh, whether it's our slider, another company's third-party system, or even a DIY rig. Yeah, you guys had it on a skateboard. You it on a skateboard, you can put it on cable cams, floor dollies. Um, you can really just add the box to any existing gear to add time-lapse motion. Um, so that's, that's the key to it. And uh, so as you can see here, we've got a glide track. This is not our company. Um, the, the, the plate's attached, it just clicks in. And then it's programmed uh, to move and shoot along the track. So um, again, you can program it to shoot smooth motion video for, for video moves, or you can connect your camera and you can be doing time-lapse photography. Um, really nice, smooth sliding, tracking time-lapse. And uh, when you buy it, you get both uh, both bases, is that right? Correct, yeah, you get the linear plate um, to work on tracks or DIY equipment, and you get the panning plate for tripods as well. And I mean, it fits, it says you don't have to have a screwdriver or anything like that, it just pops right on. Now, and this works on a cord that you guys uh, also provide, and it has two ends, so that that's what uh, goes across the track. Now, uh, one of the things that impressed me the most was the presets but you're not stuck with them. So if you're shooting clouds or shooting people or things like that, but you can tweak this thing pretty and get as creative as you want, right? For sure, yeah. So we do have a lot of presets in the menu. So you can select from clouds, people, stars. Um, and that's just really to give people the first experience with time-lapse. Um, it gives them a building block. Um, they can start learning from there and experimenting with different settings. Um, and, and after you kind of move past that level, you know, there's all the usual time-lapse settings. You can set your interval time. You can see your ease in and ease out um, for smooth movement ramping. Uh, there's bulb ramping functionality. Um, everything's all built in. With uh, uh, how heavy of a camera can we put on this? So the payload's up to 30 pounds. Um, so we'll handle Red Epics. We do have cables for Red Epics as well. Um, and he yeah, pretty heavy cameras. That, that's along a horizontal so, um, 
track. Uh, if you want to go vertical, then the payload is probably more like five to six kilos, um, probably ten pounds. Yeah. Uh, what about on the on the tripod? Like uh, your tripod's thirty pounds. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So you can put a head on there and then put a larger kit. For sure, you can put a bigger tripod head. Um, you know, Manfrotto 504, I think we use a lot with a bigger bigger camera. Um, AF100 with a 70 to 200, we quite often use. Uh, a longer lens and yeah we, it'll handle it no, no issue. Now the cool thing about it is that you get everything essentially that you need to go like right out of the box but you guys also sell uh, some accessories you, you sell your own uh, uh, ball mount here which I've used it I mean it's excellent it's a, it's a great quality but you guys also sell uh, uh, the different uh, length cables that you'll need pretty much this works almost with every camera right? Yeah you can use it with basically any DSLR so we've got Canon cables, Nikon, Olympus um, I think we have eight cables for the, all the DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. Um, there are a few cameras that don't have a remote input um, and we've even got those covered as well. We have an IR emitter um, that can just, a flexible tube that points at the IR receiver on the camera and you can trigger the camera that way. So some of those mirrorless cameras. The Sony A7S, yeah, yeah, yeah it runs it, yeah, exactly. So yeah, you can just use that uh, use that cable to, to trigger those cameras. Yeah, it's a solid piece too, it just it kind of goes like right in the eye line of it. Yeah. So you guys did uh, uh, the Genie and of course works with uh, every everybody's uh, slider, but then you decided to introduce your own slider. Talk about that, the Magic Carpet. Yeah, we did. I mean, the Magic Carpet was our sort of simple solution for a camera slider. So it's just a, it's a really nice, simple, elegant and, and portable camera slider. So. Um, roller bearing carriage, uh, very very smooth, uh, but also has um, additional functionality to make it really easy to use with the Genie. So, um, if you're looking at, at getting a slider for the Genie, it's sort of a perfect match. Thing that I noticed about it was is, the, the, and here's the trouble with sliders most of the time, they're heavy. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, you're slapping this thing around, and I mean, it's it becomes an unpleasant experience, especially if you're going in the woods hiking or someplace out of remote you don't want to carry all that weight this thing is incredibly light I mean you've got two you've got uh, the three foot and a five foot it's incredibly light yeah they're really really light so we focused on that all of our products are built around portability uh, even the Genie um, is we try to make as much as, as small as possible um, and so we're always thinking about that when we're developing any of our product line um, it's all about portability it's all about being easy to use um, and, and being good quality so um, yeah, really portable. There's a 2.6 foot track and a 5.2 foot. Um, so the end caps and carriage are all interchangeable. So you can purchase a short track uh, and a long track and then just interchange the carriage and end caps um, to a longer length or a shorter length if you want portability one day but you want a longer move the next day. Um, so there's options for that as well. The other thing I noticed was uh, that uh, sliders, uh, they get to the price of a vehicle, you know, finally. They get crazy price. It's very reasonably priced. What is it in the states for the two? So the short tracks uh, two ninety nine, um, the long tracks three sixty nine. I know your website has a tremendous amount of information on it. Uh, great user interviews. You have a great community. Uh, what, what's the website? So the website is syrup.co.nz, uh, spelled S Y R P, dot C O dot N Z. Excellent. Thanks so much, Ben. Okay. Thanks. H D S O R Shooter brought to you by Akidio, Atomos, Black Magic Design, ICAN, JVC, Serp, Video Blocks, Carl Zeiss, and Zylite.